How to replace a vibrator. So first of all, remove the two pins at either side and then remove the silver rod so you can move the carrier belt away from the vibrators to get access. Put the rod back through the carrier. Now get some kind of rope or whatever you can find offshore loop it through the bar, slide it back and now take your piece of rope, tie it underneath the fingerboard and adjust the length to suit how far back you want it. You don't want it to go all the way past the back roller, you'll find it difficult getting it back up over again, so just push it back and adjust push it back again and then you will see you want it to end up at the back of the uh, back of the frame the orange part of the frame you want it to sit just there just past the vibrators this is the best place to have it so you can get full access to all the vibrators okay so you want to check your vibrators now so just turn on to remote and start them up just the vibrators only check from the middle to the sides now you want to press down make sure none of them are split or broken they sometimes split where the motors are right in the middle check that the rubber mounts are all good now if you find one that's damaged to remove the hose you will clean the area first you don't want to get any mud or debris into that manifold so once you do that you push in in with the hose and push the clamp and then you just pull the hose out. <coughs> now you can lift it out, it doesn't really matter about the hose on the actual vibrator because you're going to put a new one on. If you're just going to service this or whatever you'll cover the hose up. Now you put the new one on, you want to protect the end, sometimes you get yellow caps, if not just use a rag, put it over the pipe and now place the vibrator over the springs and then you can connect your hose back up. Make sure the rubber goes all the way into the springs and it is seated properly. Now you can take your hose, make sure the ends clean, guide it back into the manifold, push it in, you'll feel it clip in now pull back to confirm it is locked in place and that's the inlet in. The exhaust, the new type, don't need to be connected to the manifold so you don't need to worry about that. Now you'll just turn it back on, make sure the new vibrator is working before you put the carrier belt back on and make sure it's secure. Now just pull on your rope and you will get your carrier belt back through. Take off your rope, pull it forward and connect your rod back up to the other end of the carrier belt. Now if you turned on the cube and uh, within a minute the new vibrator stopped working it's probably due to it sit on a shelf for a while so you just take a block of wood and a hammer and just give it a gentle tap on the top and it will just shock the piston so it can start working again and get some oil through the system